What do you think that running for 15 minutes a day will do to your body? Is there any truth to the general belief that running is good for your health? And can running really help to improve your overall performance? In today's video, we'll be detailing exactly what happens to your body when you start running for at least 15 minutes every day. But before we jump right into it, kindly give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and smash the notification bell to receive updates of when we post more fascinating health and wellness videos like this one. Now let's get to it. For anyone who is just starting out with making running a regular habit, it's often difficult to get into the groove of things at first. But after getting in a few good runs, it starts to get easier and easier with time. And that's why any runner you meet is most likely to have a story to tell you about how consistent running can help do your body wonders. Waking up early and getting in a nice quick 15 minute run not only helps you physically, it even helps improve your mood too by giving you an overload of endorphins. Getting into a good mood after a great run is a well-known and scientifically proven benefit of the practice of regular running. But aside being a great stimulant, running has a plethora of other positive physical effects on the body as well. Foremostly, daily running plays a huge role in changing your body composition and your overall physical system. During an average run, the body undergoes a variety of changes, such as burning some calories, decreasing water weight, releasing endorphins, breaking down fat tissue for fuel, and all this happens while getting you in the shape of your life. Oh, and did I mention it is also a great muscle growth stimulant? But what exactly does your body go through during any typical 15 minute run? It doesn't matter whether you're a newbie or an experienced runner. As soon as your feet hit the pavement, your body begins to undergo some changes, some of which you immediately begin to feel, and having a thorough understanding of what exactly these changes are and how your body goes through them will no doubt help you become a stronger runner. During the first few seconds of your run, your muscles begin to use adenosine triphosphate, otherwise called ATP for short. ATP is the energy molecule your body produces from the food you consume, and ATP does a lot of good to your body. As you start running, you almost immediately begin to feel a surge of adrenaline, well, that's actually your body's ATP being converted to another powerful molecule known as adenosine diphosphate or ADP. This conversion of ATP to ADP is necessary to push you through the very first minute of your run, which is usually the hardest part of running, especially for beginners. However, something very interesting starts to happen after the first 90 seconds. Your muscle cells will naturally start changing the recently derived ADP back into ATP. During this time, you'll begin to feel yourself establishing better strides as you run, with this enabling you to release even more ATP. Also, your cells will begin to break down glycogen, a popular form of glucose which serves as the essential fuel that your muscles need to keep you going. These glycogens are stored in your muscle cells as a derivative of glucose and are directly pulled from your bloodstream. Your muscles begin to work more efficiently while using the glycogens as fuel, and in the process help you to lower your blood sugar levels. As you continue with your run and your body burns more glucose, they begin to release lactic acid and you will naturally begin to feel a burning sensation in your legs. At this point, your brain will alert you that you're under extreme physical stress, but you shouldn't panic. The reality is, it's actually not a bad thing. This is just a trick your brain is playing on you and this is where the phrase, no pain, no gain comes from. When you start to feel the burn is when you are getting to the most crucial phase of your run. The next few minutes and beyond, especially if you're a new runner, where it may become tricky and more difficult for you to maintain your running pace, but you shouldn't give up at this point, as that'll be putting all the momentum you've gathered up at this point to waste. What you have to do now is keep pushing yourself until you begin to hear your heart beating faster. As your heart begins to beat faster and faster, blood will start to move towards your muscles and away from your other organs that are not requiring energy. Now you need to up the rate of your breathing as it takes sufficient influx of oxygen to make the best use of the glucose reserve in your body at this point. As you begin to breathe heavily, you will get comfortable with your strides and the pain you felt very intensely just a while ago will heavily subside. As you keep running and continuously using glycogen and oxygen at an optimized rate, your body temperature tends to get spiked and this is when you begin to sweat profusely. Again, this is also no cause for alarm because as soon as you begin to sweat more, your sweat glands begin to regulate your body temperature by raising the moisture content to keep you from overheating. This makes running one of the best cardio exercises you can do. Running for 15 minutes daily also affects the composition of your body in a good way. Your body gets in top shape, especially as your muscles become leaner and as your bones grow healthier and denser. Your lungs also get to share in the benefits of your daily runs. While starting out as a new runner, your lungs might initially fail to keep your body supplied with the needed amount of oxygen and you will feel winded very early in your runs. But this is only a temporary phase as your lungs will soon expand, increasing the oxygen supply to your body. This, in turn, allows you to go on your runs without ever running out of breath, regardless of how far you might push yourself. 
All of these other benefits make burning off fat not just the sole benefit of running, as it is widely believed. Running daily also helps you to develop a stronger core, which is essential in helping you in maintaining a stronger balance. Developing a stronger core also greatly improves the health of your heart, with this allowing you to do harder things without getting exhausted as quickly. While weightlifting is a great way to get in shape, nothing improves blood circulation in the body as much as daily and consistent running. As mentioned already, running up to a point will mount enough pressure on your heart to make it beat faster and harder as it attempts to pump blood to all the areas of the body and provide enough oxygen to all of your vital organs. Your blood vessels will quickly dilate in response to the mounting pressure on your heart from your run, especially as they struggle to bring more blood into the muscles. And as you make running more frequent, your heart becomes stronger and more effective at pumping blood. As you continue to maintain your daily routine, more capillaries that are better adapted to improved oxygen circulation within your body also get developed. These capillaries also help to decrease the risk of arteriosclerosis and blockage of arterial roots that result in heart attacks and stroke. Developing stunning and stronger calves is about one of the very first things you'll note about your body after you've been running for a while. Your calves will literally become the nicest portion of your leg and will make your legs look stronger and sharper. Running is widely considered to be one of the easiest ways to grow stunning calves without calf raises and other associated issues that often arise from other methods of calf building. Another early benefit that you will notice shortly after you've established your daily running habit is a remarkably improved metabolic rate. This continues to provide your body with the energy it needs to perform at a very high level, while also continually burning away your body fat, helping you lose a substantial weight. People who run a lot are generally leaner, healthier, and overall happier than people who don't run. Running makes the bones stronger so they can bear the weight of the body and the strain of running greatly improved arteries, muscle cells, lung capacity and blood flow are all other excellent benefits of running for an average of 15 minutes daily. As always, leave a comment below with any other topics you would like us to cover and let us know how your fitness journey is going. We'll see you guys in the next one.